Hey YouTube, this is Max Tips, and today I was just going to do a quick little uh, video on explaining what hyperthreading is. There's a lot of people talking about hyperthreading, whether it's better to have more threads, more cores, what all that's about, so I'm just going to explain this. Um, and I have some diagrams already drawn up here for you just to save some time. I'm going to start with this one over here. Um, I have an example here where you have two processors and you're hyperthreading. Uh, that's the going to be the blue block. These are going to be the cores, these squares inside, and these are the processors. Now, the red is the physical, and the blue is going to be the logical or virtual, they call it. And um, uh, whereas certain, uh, like Intel, they've designed this, by the way, hyperthreading, where you have one core, but you have multiple threads going to that core, um, generally two, so it looks like you have two uh, processors for every one core you have. Uh, like processor one on a computer would show up as two cores even though it's only one core here and that's the virtual core now the way this works is let's say you have hey, let's focus on these guys over here let's say you have four workers and they each have one arm I know this is weird just bear with me they each have one arm these are gonna represent each one of your cores okay they're all one processor and these this is a quad core let's say each of them are workers and they each have one arm which is their core and they're lifting like I don't know boxes these would be the programs they're transfer transferring over the computer and stuff they're moving now when you use hyper threading it's kind of like adding a second arm to each one of these dudes they each get another thread now they're the same resource the same dude but now they have two threads so now both these arms are using the same resource the body the muscle of the dude they're using the same resource but they're doing other jobs. Now some people can say this is good or bad depending on your OS because if your OS is not um, if it's not uh, utilized for this then it's, it won't work as properly because here's an example let's say you have one processor and another processor okay they both are on hyper threading but your computer isn't optimized so it doesn't know the difference between a logical core and a physical core so your computer sees it as core 1, or actually it would be core 0, core 1, core 2, and core 3. So it has a program it needs to uh, use work with, so it chooses, oh, okay, let's you choose core 0 and core 1 to do the work. Well, core 0 and core 1 happen to be over on the first processor, and core 2 and 3 are on the second one. But your computer does not know the difference. It thinks there's four separate um, cores, so it doesn't see the difference in which one which ones it uses. So while this one is getting all the load, this one is just staying idle. So it's not uh, using its full potential since it's using all of uh, its processing power on this program right here, just on this one processor, and the other processor isn't doing any work. That's why your OS needs to be optimized to be able to use uh, hyper-threading, because then it'll know, okay, the, these are logical virtual cores and these are physical cores, so if I need a job done, there's only one program, I'll use a core from each and it'll be a lot faster. But let's say there's a lot of programs, instead of making two of these go to one processor and two of these go on the other processor, it can split it up into the virtual, and, or core I mean, and then it can split it up into the virtual core and the physical core, so each one of these gets its own thread to work off of basically and um, what that means is it doesn't put as much stress on one uh, specific core because there's multiple threads but it does use the same resource which is the resource is the dude or the processor so if you have one processor or one core which is the resource the threads are coming out of the same resource so I'm just gonna draw a square here there's your core okay this is gonna be a core this is gonna be the main core okay never mind. this will be a processor right now and then I'm going to draw cores inside. These are going to be the cores, okay? Now, one of these cores happens to be a virtual core. Okay? So this virtual core, um, this virtual core is, doesn't really exist. It's just a thread, meaning both of these cores look like they're on the same CPU, but there's actually only one physical core in there. So both of these are taking resources out of the CPU but there's only one actual core so you don't if you had a CPU with two physical cores my bad guys let me, let me get a real drawing here alright if you had a CPU with two physical cores then each core would get its own resources but this one the, f the virtual core is taking resources from the physical core as well as the physical core taking res resources from itself they're both using the same resource because this one is virtual, it's not real, it doesn't physically exist. But if you have a processor with two cores, 
then each core is its own resource it's its own uh, worker you could say like over here each worker here is their own separate um, core and they have threads going off them but if they each have only one hand or one thread they only have to focus on one job but if they each have two threads it's coming from the same resource and if your computer isn't optimized for that it can actually be worse for you because as back up here um, you see where it can your computer might use one person with two arms rather than two people with one arm if that makes sense uh, it might use the virtual core and the physical core rather than both the physical cores because a physical core will be faster than a virtual core you can't have a processor with every virtual core there has to be a physical core and the physical core with its own resource will be a lot faster than a virtual core now virtual cores do add on a lot of um, they have a lot of potential to speed up your computer though because now instead of like uh, in the example over here you have one dude doing two jobs uh, if it has the resources it can use the other part of it to do a different job rather than each core only performing one job so there are ups and downs to hyper threading generally though today uh, OS's are optimized perfectly for this I mean they've gone through tons of bugs and stuff like that uh, Intel's worked very hard on this their hyper threading technology is one of the main things they're known for it was back in uh, 2002 it was created and it started with their uh, Xeon processor and that's what they first used it on uh, the hyper threading on then they got into more of like all their other main uh, i series and all that stuff um, but uh, yeah that's basically what hyper threading is it's not an actual physical core it's a virtual or logical core as down here people use those terms um, that's on the same core in the same processor so your processor can have it'll say it has four cores but it might only be a dual core with hyper threading but that means it has two virtual cores and two uh, physical cores think of it as it has two dudes with two arms instead of four dudes with one arm each if uh, I think that's the best way to describe it so uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any more questions on hyper threading please message me I'll be happy to answer your question I tried to get through as much as I could um, if I missed anything uh, please just point it out for me and I can cover that too in the comment section and uh, if you didn't know HT sensor hyper threading it can also be represented by HTT which is hyper threading technology if you ever see those two things hyper threading HT or hyper threading technology HTT they mean, they mean the same thing it's just Intel's way of uh, putting it short for people to see so yeah um, uh, if you haven't subscribed already uh, I'd be grateful if you would I'm trying to do more videos like this teaching people about computers rather than just showing them uh, I think it's nice to learn about the software as well as the hardware so if you have any uh, ideas for me um, on what you want to learn about I recently did a video about torrents so you can go view that one and uh, now this is hyper threading so if you have any questions or you want me to cover a different subject please just send me a message and I'll be sure to get on that so thanks for watching and please subscribe